Hi everybody, Rebecca from LJ Hooker here in uh, Perth City. Uh, so this is our wrap up for November 2021 and we saw a lot more activity than we did in October. So for November, we had 3,895 inquiries, 287 home opens, um, 1,156 tenants, tenants actually inspected, and we had 402 applications to process, which led us into 42 properties leased for the month of November. On average, our um, rent price was $504, which was up $5 from last month. And we are still continuing to see tenants staying in properties instead of renewing because they aren't able to find cheaper options at the moment. We were super excited to have 30 new landlords bring their properties over to us for the month. So we've got a lot more stock coming on um, to lease out for December and hopefully we get them all leased before Christmas. We are excited for 2022. We feel like there is still a real shortage of stock on the market, which will drive rental prices um, up a little bit uh, next year as well. Hope you all have a great Christmas. And if you need anything in Perth City, please let us know here at LJ Hooker. Hi, I'm Alicia coming to you from Peered Real Estate in the city of Rockingham. And I'm here to give you your market update for November. Uh, within our office and in the uh, Rockingham area, we are seeing an average increase for lease renewals of about $30 per week. Now we have seen some significantly higher and we have had some owners decide to keep the rent, um, you know, just a, a slighter increase. Um, but in, overall rent increases are definitely still going strong. Uh, we're still leasing properties well in advance. Um, at the moment, we are marketing and leasing for January, uh, which is great because it allows our owners and our tenants to be able to plan in advance, um, not stress over the Christmas and New Year period and uh, have all their, their plans in place. So that's really great. Uh, we're also seeing longer leases signed. So at the moment, there's quite a few two year leases um, being signed, we do incorporate rent reviews every six months just to protect our investors. But yeah, longer leases are definitely uh, becoming more the norm uh, as tenants want security and our owners and investors also want security. We're still receiving multiple applications, even for properties available well in advance. Uh, some are still offering higher rents. Uh, our investors are getting a good selection to be able to choose the best uh, people to move into their, their investment property. We at our office also has a 0% vacancy rate still. Uh, we are, as I said, leasing into January. So we have nothing available now. Um, if we, when we get new properties that come on, they're leasing at the first home open. Um, it's, it's just going absolutely crazy still. Um, hopefully we can uh, help some more clients get their tenants in place to before Christmas. I've um, got a few settlements happening the week before Christmas, so it will be quite a, um, a busy lead up to uh, a little break. Uh, this month for November, our biggest highlight property was a property um, that's not your normal investment property. Um, it's a, a larger block, was built to be their family home. Uh, they're in the defense and they've had to relocate. We did market it at $7.50 per week, which we were testing the market because there was just absolutely nothing comparable for rental. Uh, they're all home owner occupiers local. So uh, we're just testing the market. We ended up lease, we did a viewing two days after advertising. We had multiple groups through, multiple applications. It got leased from that first viewing and it got leased at 800 per week for two years. So that investor is very happy, the tenants are very happy, um, and we'll, we'll secure them to move in in January. So all well, um, everything's still going pretty crazy down here, that's uh, for sure. Thank you. Hi guys, Kelly Johnson here from Harcourts representing the city of Joondalup for the November rental market update. City of Joondalup runs from the coastal suburb of Marmion to Burns Beach along the western side of Lake Joondalup. Now this gives us a real big variety of properties to be managed within this council. From family homes to apartments, we see a lot of different owners and tenants. Within the month of November, we had several homes, family homes come to the market, all above $600 per week. These homes saw huge inquiries right from the get-go, 
with numbers from 20 plus people inspecting at the time of viewing. From there, we receive from six to 12 applications to be reference checked and put to the owners. Some of these applications were over and above the asking price, but you find owners with properties of this amount per week are more interested in a good quality tenant than getting the highest possible rental price. Where it comes to apartments, we saw a bit quieter, obviously, than the family homes. Still good numbers, but receiving two, maybe three applications and all at asking price. Our investor inquiry was huge and we find that we're giving a lot of price per week for people looking at properties, wanting to know what they would receive rent back if purchased. And these are your family homes, your 450 to 650 within the suburbs. Now lease renewals were really busy and we're finding that tenants are really wanting to negotiate with owners as opposed to vacating and finding another property. So they're really willing to discuss rent increases when it comes to a new lease. Our average rent increase this month was $45. Overall, we're keeping really busy and we're seeing lots of people, lots of happy tenants and just, you know, always trying to explain and do the best for our clients within the market. Thanks. Hi, my name is Madison and I'm the property manager for Peered Real Estate in Caratha. We're located in the northwest of Australia with approximately 23,000 residents and over 7,000 homes. Our branch manages over 100 properties throughout the city of Caratha, from Dampier, Caratha, out to Reuben and Point Sampson. A large portion of our tenants are made up of companies subletting to their employees. These can range anywhere from large corporations through to small family run businesses. Of course, we have plenty of families leasing with us too. The month of November saw six properties leased, four of which were to companies, two were leased off market and two were new managements gained. We had a total of 74 inquiries seven home opens, 24 people viewed these properties, and we had 12 applications overall. Our smallest rent increase on new listings was $30 per week. However, the others were anywhere from 100 to 250 per week. Due to the large rent increases we saw in April and May after the moratorium ended, we are now seeing slightly smaller rent increases to our lease renewals which are still anywhere from $50 to $100 per week. This month has been a busy month for us, with five homeowners reaching out looking at getting into the investors market. With big, big announcements such as the Scarborough Gas Project, we are hoping that the coming months are going to be even busier and more fruitful, not only for our current clients, but anyone at looking at getting into the property market. I'm Lara Miller from Ray White Frio, um, just giving you an update on what's been happening in the rental market in the Frio greater area for the month of November. So we have had four break leases this month within our office, flooded with inquiry across all properties. Um, we have seen a surge in interstate investor inquiry looking to purchase um, coastal properties or really anything along the coast. Slight reduction in local investors over the last eight weeks. In the last fortnight, we have had 61 people inquire on a two by one townhouse in Fremantle and 16 inquiries within three days for a three by one house in Willoughby. Properties are leasing on average in our office within four weeks from point of advertising. And we have found owners are expecting to see multiple applications as a baseline to choose their ideal applicant for their home. All in all, the Fremantle market still remains a hotspot in comparison to Frio Fringe and surrounding suburbs. We are seeing that people are wanting to be in the centre of the action and have the ability to walk to bars, cafes, beach shops, etc., which is reflective of the amount of inquiry we are getting on inner Frio suburbs versus other outer areas. And that's it. Thanks. Hi, James Yankazos here from Peered Real Estate with a quick market update for the City of Stirling. Uh, we're still seeing multiple people through our home opens across the board. Um, at least 10 with an average of three applications coming from these. Um, and just recently we had a property where uh, we had three, uh, three applications, three of them offered to pay more uh, in terms of rental price and two of them offered rent in advance. So the owner really had the uh, pick of the litter there. Um, with lease renewals, we're still seeing uh, rent increases go through uh, most tenants uh, are agreeing to these, uh, which is good. Tenants recognising the shift in the market. Um, and we, we don't anticipate this to slow down at all. Thank you. Hi, 
Hi everyone, Sharon Turner coming to you from About Time Real Estate in the KGB, Kondula Belga Girawing. So uh, this month's not been that busy to be fair. I've leased seven properties of which four were lease renewals. All four of those, the owners have actually elected to keep the rent the same as they were good, great tenants, paying the rent on time, looking after the property, and the owners are already getting fairly reasonable market rent. So they've renewed at the same market rent. Uh, the three others were brand new managements that come on board this month. All three of those leased quite quickly to great tenants and for top rent. So. When I've got the stock, I can move it quite quickly, but the other issue is the, you know, this is not the new stock coming on. December is going to be looking like it's going to be a very quiet month. There's not like there's going to be many new managements coming on board, but we will see. So that'll be not many leasing. I've got a quite a few renewals to work through. January, however, is shaping up like I'll have a fair few more coming through in January, but time will tell. So take care. Hope you've all had a great month. Thank you. Hi everyone, Esther Nilsson from Coronas. I'm here to give you a monthly wrap up on the city of Armadale. Now I'm going to actually focus on the suburb of Camillo and I currently have zero available properties at the moment. Um, uh, so zero listings and zero vacancies uh, across the board. So um, I do have a vacancy that's going to be coming up after Christmas. The tenants are currently paying $300 a week. That is definitely going to be increasing it to $350 or $360 a week. So you can see um, that that particular property, a three by one, is uh, undervalued by $50 to $60 in the current market. Uh, Camillo is a bit of a high demand suburb at the moment um, within the city of Armadale. Just thought I'd touch uh, base on a few little pointers. There's currently five properties available for rent on realestate.com in Camillo. The median rental price is $320 a week for a four, uh, sorry a three by one um, and the actual median sale price is around $295,000. In terms of the actual demographics of that suburb, um, there's 18.7% of older couples and families, 16.7% are established couples and families, and 13.4% are maturing couples and families. So basically they're the ones that are growth families, um, so on the younger side. And obviously all the rest of the percentage um, is made up of, of uh, you know, various other demographics to that. Um, but you can see that the majority of them are in the older, sort of more established um, family setup. So that's a bit of a wrap on the suburb of Camillo in the city of Armadale. Catch you next time. Hi, I'm Ashley Goodchild doing a rental market update for the month of November in the city of South Perth. And I find that we have some really um, full-on busy weeks and then other weeks they're a bit quieter and the month of November particularly has had a lot of tenant um, inquiry and nearly going back into that chaos and I don't know whether that chaos is um, because Christmas is coming up and people have got deadlines or they just want to find something before the end of the year. But definitely we're finding that properties have, that have been sitting vacant have all of a sudden had five inquiries on them and it has each home open, you know, would at least have five or ten people through it. Properties being rented without being advertised a lot um, of movement in the rental market. So as a general, I'm finding that there has been a couple of applications that have come through for apartments where people have offered less, which is quite interesting. Owners have come back and said, no, they can pay the full asking price. And then the tenant or the applicant has accepted it. So they've just tried it. But houses, we're going back into the situation where people are offering more to secure a home. So I think that's a sign of families um, being a little bit more desperate to find something. So in the last 30 days for the month of November, we've had over 1,100 inquiries on rental properties. We have had 143 applications on 20 properties so you can see um, that that would be sort of on average seven applications per property and 
that's quite a lot. So it has been good for landlords, um, a bit more stress for tenants and applicants. And I feel that moving into December and January, it's going to be exactly the same. It's going to continue to have um, the, the chaos behind the rental market. We are finding that when it comes to lease renewals, that landlords are putting rents up somewhat significantly. Um, they're putting them up 30 to $50 extra per week and tenants are paying it to stay put. So that's quite interesting. Um, there's been times where we've done a rent increase and we thought, no, tenants going to definitely move out with that. And um, they've emailed back and said, no, let's sign another 12 month lease. So that is also very interesting, but overall a great rental market for investors, still not seeing local investors buying, uh, still interstate. It would be great to get some local people buying, um, buying up, but we will find that this will continue for the next few months at least, at least to the 1st of Feb, and then we'll see what happens there.